Welcome everyone in the very special session of research paper write-up. Uh, today we will talk mainly about what is writing, what is the importance of writing. Writing, but I am talking about the scientific writing, how you can write research article for the journal, for the conference, and to perceive your academic career either in the MS level or at the PhD level or at the researcher level. Writing is the most important means for communicating through your research and scientific work. The most compelling reason for many professionals to start writing either to get a job or to get a promotion or to get a academic position. Uh, at the research level, for example, if you have a very higher uh, degree such as MS or PhD or even the graduate level, when the academic reviewer is going to judge you, it will be completely based on your research paper contribution, that how much you have contributed to the uh, scientific knowledge. So this is very important session and I hope that each and everyone will listen to those recorded slides and I hope that they will learn from it. Before to go into the very detail, I would like to tell to each and everyone, those who have created their accounts on the academia and research gate, is for the most of the student research gate for the time being is not uh, may be possible because they are asking for the professional email address which most of the students don't have. But the very good thing about academia that it can help us to socially connect, internet, uh, interact, make a team with the researcher, experts and emerging students either at the BSc level or at the PhD level around the world not only in the country or in the very specific region. The main advantage if you still have, uh, if you still don't have account on the academia, you should have one and create one as soon as possible. It do not need any professional or official email, but it also you can function your academia account for the learning purpose through your any email address. Through academia, you can have access to thousands of the articles, paper, books, and reports, and so on. It also gives you the freedom to determine your own research lines, direction, and field. You can also contribute to uh, have your idea or to present your idea and contribute your knowledge for to make the world a better place. And also, you can also develop your professional and also build professional connection with different researchers in your entrusted field. Below, uh, there is a given link. So from there, you can have a look at what are the benefits of ResearchGate and academia and how it can help you to connect and interact with the researcher around the world. First of all, just to give you an idea that what is research. So as you can see from the definition of the Albert, that research is to see what everybody else has seen and to think what nobody else has thought. So in a very simple word, when you derive something new which no one ever did before, this is called research. जो इस आप से पहले किसी ने वो काम न किया हो, that one we called a research. So, what is research paper? A research paper is a written and published report describing original result which is supported by your evidence such as methodology section, modeling or simulation or analysis. And you can derive the new result, the new situation, the new scenario, the new outcome, the new conclusion. This is called research. The purpose of research writing 
is to communicate new research findings. So it is quite clear it should be simply uh, communicated and transmitted to come up with the new outcome and new findings. Scientific writing must use a common language through which we can communicate and transmit the knowledge around the world. Scientific paper is a short, concise article where you can rephrase the very big summary of 100 or 200 pages in less than 100 pages. So for that you need to have a strong grip on your writing scale so that how you can briefly describe each and everything of 200 uh, pages within 10 pages. Before starting, do not underestimate the time and effort which it takes. The time and the efforts, what you need to do, as I have seen through my personal career, that most of the students, they get confused. And at the time of a proposal defense, they usually come up with a very much broad idea and a very much long conclusion. So keep in mind, make things straightforward and simple as it should be. Do not jump to so many conclusions. Keep in mind, every research ha should have not more than one conclusion. It should always have a one conclusion. Look. If you can say, if you look to the human body, there are so many parts there. So the expert doesn't mean that he knows each and everything inside the body. The physician, the doctor, he only knows, he, he, he is only expert in the very specific area. So the, the next question is, which conference, which journal you should submit your paper to? And also the most easiest way is for the journal, for the conference, for to download their template and also understand their guidelines. Again, a very short summary. The, the, uh, the very first question is, uh, the topic on which you want to start your study, do you have all the related papers? If you don't have, then start your search and try to find the latest findings of the topic in which you are interested. The second question is, uh, the data through which you will organize or present your work, is it, a well, uh, is it presented in a well-documented shape? It means the raw data, which you will use during your research for the, for the analysis, modeling, and simulation purpose. The third question is, you need to decide which data you should incorporate and which one you will eliminate. Because this is very important in the terms to divide and to derive and to limit your the limitation of the study. As I mentioned in the previous slide, you cannot focus on so many things. You should focus on a very single line. For the student, if you are enrolled at the BSc level, MEC or a PhD, you should write a very short draft to define the outline and again discuss it with your supervisor. Here I'm talking about the proposal, the proposal defense. What is proposal? Proposal means that what you are gonna do at your undergrad or at your postgraduate level. It's very important to come up and also to understand the basic theme, the basic research problem, and what is the proposed research methodology, and what type of conclusion or the outcome you or your supervisor expect from your work. अच्छा ये बहुत ही confusing तो नहीं है, बहुत ही simple सा chart है, सिर्फ इसको समझने की जरूरत है. अब हमारा अगर research article हो या हमारी research thesis हो तो उसका स्ट्रक्चर कुछ यू होता है नंबर फर्स्ट हमारा टाइटल होता है सेकंड हमारा एब्स्ट्रैक्ट होता है फिर इंट्रोडक्शन होता है फिर हमारी लिटरेचर रिव्यू होती है फिर
میتھڈالوجی پر ریزلٹ پر ڈسکشن پر کنکلوژن اس کے کرنے کا طریقہ کیا ہے اب یہ ہے کیا کیا ایک ایک کا تکنیک کیا ہے کیسے کرنا ہے وہ انشاءاللہ آپ لوگ اس لیکچر میں آپ لوگ پڑھو گے ٹھیک ہے The first thing about thesis or about the research article is about the abstract. So the very first question is that why do we care about the same issue? So in here in this specific part, so you can also rephrase it such as that what is the importance of the same work? What is it impact or effect could be in the future. The second thing is about the problem statement. The question is what is the main argument or main problem statement of your of your research article. And keep in mind do not use something which which is kind of a jargon or which is questionable or some type of a short keyword which only define in the specific region or for the specific people. Keep in mind that here we are trying to, to uh, express the idea around the world. So you should use a very common language which is English. So then you should come up with the appropriate language which possibly uh, could everyone understand. The third part is about methodology. You should also describe the most interpretative angle or the evidence of your research. You should also mention what type of aspects, what type of gender, environment, class, race, risk, etc. you are focusing on. Which type of modeling software or which type of a simulation analysis methodology tools etc. you will use during your research. And then the fourth part is about result, what you have concluded. So like what is the outcome which you should uh, express it in a very small, in a very uh, significant line. And then what is your future implication? How you can apply the same study around the world. So these should be the part of a, of a abstract which should completely define your your abstract that how the whole abstract should look like. So these are the five parts if you are writing your research paper or your research thesis it should contain, consist those five essential parts. Abstract should also clearly mention the objective of the study. It should also summarize the results. It should also clearly process the data as well. So the kind of example which I would like to mention is an example or is an exemplary for the abstract as you can see on the very back screen. The very first thing which I, I have seen during my career while reviewing so many articles. Look here, in the very first sentence, the abstract is clearly defined the problem in the area. The second part is about the methodology tool. The third part is about when we apply the, the same methodology and then, and then we come up with the, with the conclusion or discussion part but in a very short in a brief way. Again a very short and brief example of abstract that it should define the whole thesis within a single page. Most of the reviewer, most of the of the professor or academia people, they do not read the whole thesis or they don't have the the time to do that. So they usually come up with the abstract. So the abstract should be concise, detailed and very much specific, concrete evidence. The second part, the second uh, main important point which I so now the question is where to start. Okay. The first thing is about the title and then the second is the abstract which is very much important. Most of the reviewer they actually decide either to review the thesis or the research paper on the basis of 
the title of the article of the work of the thesis or in the abstract. And what is important is the title is choose or like they have chosen the title which is more attractive to the reader or not. Those are all the things which you can, which uh, each and every student should keep in mind.